All right, it's a, it's a true honor uh, to be asked to speak to you guys. There's obviously a very uh, a special group, uh, not, not, uh, not rookies, but not yet RVPs. You guys are the future of the company. And you're here, and you got to make a decision. You've already decided to be a part of Primerica. you got to make a decision of what you want your business to look like. Because when you go into business, the two most important things, no matter what business you start, whether you start a car dealership, clothing line, music label, financial brokerage, you have to build a client base and build a team. See, if you started a restaurant and you don't have cooks cooking, servers serving, and people buying the food, I don't care how nice the ingredients are. So you got to build a client base, you got to build a team. Now. Coming in, most of us, we've been employees or maybe a sales agent or some sort. So we're very familiar with the idea of building a client base. But most of us have never built an organization before. So building a team is kind of foreign. It's, it's different. And obviously, anything we're not familiar with, we usually fear the unknown. Well, an average person like me, I join the business, I understand clients and, 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 and why a business needs to accumulate clients. So I join Primerica and I say, man, this is awesome, okay, who do I know that needs to save money? Who do I know that needs insurance? Who do I know that needs a 401k or you know, get out of debt and all this stuff, right? I go home, I tell my, my father, and he goes, that sounds great. And he does the same thing. Who do we know, I mean, where are we gonna get the clients? Who do we know that can be a client? You know, where do you, who do we know that needs insurance? Who do we know that needs investments? And the reason why we do that is because again, we understand the importance of getting clients, but we've never built an organization. See, anytime someone comes up and says, hey, so how do we get the clients? All that means is they've never built a business before. Because anybody that's built a business or an organization before will tell you the most important part is building that team. The difference between a good organization and a great organization is a good organization has good people and a great organization has great people. See, you got to surround yourself with great people. The reason why nine out of 10 small businesses fail is because everybody has strengths, everybody has weaknesses. So if we're to go out on our own to build a business, you know, our weaknesses are going to get exposed. So you want to bring a team together of people that are strong, people that are going to come together and win the game, people that have strengths where you have weaknesses. So, you know, if you think about it, how different it would be when I joined the business, I come and say, hey, where are we going to get the clients? If Ray Kroc started this business today, he'd be thinking totally different. And the reason why is this. The farther away you are from the client, the more money you make. Now, think about that for a second. It's totally different. I mean, that's 180 degrees different than what I assumed as an employee going in. Getting the clients where the money comes in, it must be the most important. But if you think about McDonald's, we go into McDonald's, we talk to Bill. Bill directly deals with the client. Then you got the manager who indirectly deals with the client. Who makes more money, Bill or the manager? Well then, above the manager, you got the franchise owner. Does he ever deal with the client? Never. Who makes more money, the manager or the franchise owner? And then who makes more money, franchise owner or corporate owner or Ray Kroc? Who makes more money? Do you ever see the corporate owner, you ever see Ray Kroc? Never. So the farther away you are from the client, the more money you make. That flies in the face of what the average person thinks coming in this business. Now, think about uh, Apple. I've bought an iPhone, iTunes, iPad, iPod, I, you know, everything I've bought from Apple, and yet I've never met Steve Jobs. Who makes more money, Dan, the guy that sold me my iPhone, or Steve Jobs? The farther away you are from the client, the more money you make. See, if Ray Kroc was to join our business today, now think about what he did. He took a hot dog stand from San Bernardino, California, and turned it into 35,000 locations in a whole bunch of different countries. You know, it revolutionized American business. Now, if he joined this business, he would not be thinking, where are we going to get the clients? What would he be thinking? He'd be thinking about expansion. He'd say, hey, who are we going to get to train you know, Chicago? How are we going to get Atlanta, New York, LA, Dallas? He'd be thinking about how can we get another RVP? How can we duplicate this thing? How can we keep it more simple? How can we expand? How can we duplicate? How can we get more franchises? And how can we get more? So he's going to be on every corner of every street. 
because he understands that the organization and the personnel is the number one focus. But see what the doubters think, the doubters say, oh, yeah, Brett, but somebody's got to sell a burger. Somebody's got to sell a burger. Yeah, but Ray Crockton, hey, hey, Brett, but someone has to train the guy that sells the burger. Yeah, but Ray Crockton, and neither do you. See, you can be at the top or you can be at the bottom. It's your choice. Now, you don't get to just say it. It's your actions that are going to dictate it. See, if you run around all day, you know, trying to find clients, trying to find clients, that's all you're doing, you're going to be a salesman. If you're going around trying to find owners, you're going to be like Ray Kroc. Because see, what did Ray Kroc look for? He looked for owners, people that believed in the American dream, people that wanted freedom, their own business, passive income. And those are the people he recruited. Those are the people he trained. See, if you train business owners, you'll be like Ray Kroc. If you train agents, you'll be like the franchise owner. If all you do is find clients, you'll be like the salesman. The choice is yours. You get to make a decision today where you want to be, how much money you want to make, and it's based on your actions. The farther away you are from the client, the more money you make. Now, I want to speak to the divisions and the regionals because they hear that, and I'll tell you, this business is about large numbers and it's about recruiting. But I'm going to tell you, one of the mistakes I see a lot of the divisions and regionals make is they jump into management too soon. See, let me tell you guys, this business right now as divisions and regionals, do not think about getting your guy good. Think about you getting good. Right now, it's about you becoming great. I can't tell you how many times I come into an office and I have a division or regional manager and they're sitting there and, and I say, hey, how's it going? And one of their districts is doing an interview, a one-on-one. -on -one. And I say, hey, why is John doing an interview and you're not? He goes, oh, well, you know, I want John to get good. I want John to practice. Garbage. That's you being lazy. Because one, that's not practice. That's the game. There's a real person there. Practice is front of the mirror or in tape recorder or one-on-one -on -one at midnight when you're practicing with your wife or your friend. That's practice. When there's a real live person, that's the game. And when you're playing the game, you want the best player in the game. So don't worry about how, oh, I got to make him good. at No, you don't got to make him good. You got to be an example of what good is. And then they can follow. You know, it's amazing to me how quickly people want to delegate. You know, there, uh, you know, one time I delegated uh, to a regional for training. Hey, I want you to train this Saturday. I went out of town. By the time I came back, he had delegated to his division who had delegated to a senior rep. So all of a sudden, I had a senior rep who had done one sale in her whole career training my whole Saturday group because they thought being a manager or leader was about delegating. But it's not. It's about becoming great. And do you know how long it takes to be good? You got to put in work. I, my, my challenge to you is to become great. Become the best person on your team. Become the Michael Jordan of your team. Go out there and practice. If you want to go out and make money, if you want to go out and make six figures or seven figures, obviously it's not going to be easy. You hear about the great people in their industries, the Tiger Woods, man, he would hit the golf ball until his fingers bled. Magic Johnson would shovel snow off the basketball court to shoot hoops in the winter. Charles Barkley didn't go to his senior's prom so he can shoot baskets in the gym. If you want to be great, you got to put in the work. Don't think for once, I'm, I'm going to tell you, as sure as I'm here, I still got a lot to learn. I got more to learn than I've learned. But I'll tell you that it took me at least two and a half, three years before I could sit here and say I was pretty good at the business. You know, they say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert at something. You got to have the desire to be an expert because you're going to, see, you teach what you know, but you reproduce who you are. And if you don't become excellent, you're not going to reproduce excellence. Do not think you're there yet. You're on the path and you have the right vehicle. But make sure you get obsessed about being the best. Go out there, put in the practice, put in the time, and I promise you, you're going to win in this business. Everybody in this room is less than 12 months away from making $20,000 in a month. 
Go out there, make it happen, and we'll see you at the top.